So, you got a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we make a movie called Gods of Egypt. Oh, heck yeah, I could totally picture that. A bunch of big Egyptian gods yeah. with their thick Scottish accents. Well, so what happens in this thing? So the king of Egypt, Osiris, is gonna step down and put Horus in charge. So just several ladies of the night running the country? No, Horus, that's the name of his son. Oh, okay, gotcha. But Osiris' brother Set shows up and kills Osiris and then challenges Horus to a fight. Uh-oh, are there any other gods around to help out? Oh, well, there are are gonna be a bunch of gods at the coronation, but they're not gonna help. What? Why not? Well, one of them tells Horus, there are many of us that will stand with you, but now is not the time. Why wouldn't this be the time? Because this is the start of the movie. It just started. Oh, that makes sense. So Set and Horus turn into big scary beasts, which is a thing they can do, but then Set steals his eyes, and so he loses his powers. Dang it. So now Set is gonna run everything? He is. So he tells the people of Egypt, either bow to me or become slaves. So what happens to the people that bow to him? He makes them into slaves. <laughs> oh, sneaky. And he also changes the rules to the afterlife. Now you have to buy your way in with riches. Sounds like that's gonna be tough for people to do if everybody's enslaved. Actually, yep. Kind of thought you were gonna say something else there. So then we're gonna jump forward a year and Set is going around killing gods one at a time. Uh, sounds like they probably should have stood up to him when they were all together at the coronation. Well, no, because that was not the time, remember? Right, 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 that's right. And so this mortal guy, Beck, and his girlfriend, Zaya, they come up with a plan to steal one of Horus's eyes from Set, which is being kept in a pyramid. Why do they want the eye? Well, because Zaya said says that Horus is the only one who can beat Set. But Horus was very publicly defeated and had his eyes ripped out. Correct. So they managed to steal the eye, but then Zaya gets an arrow through the heart and dies. Oh no, so his girlfriend's deceased? Yeah, but turns out it takes like a couple of days to walk to the afterlife, so there's a bit of leeway here. Oh, a very convenient death process. So Beck goes to see Horus and he's like, hey, if you bring my girlfriend back to life, I'll lead you to your second eyeball so you can go kill Set. And he absolutely needs both eyes. Oh yeah, without both eyes, he can't turn into his powerful golden bird form. Gotcha, so what does he do? He turns into his powerful golden bird form and flies to space to see his granddad. Sick, and why does he need to see him? Well, he needs some divine water and he needs to go see the god of wisdom and he needs to answer a sphinx's riddle and he needs to kill the desert with divine water. Sure, that sounds like a string of events. <laughs> it is, and along the way they're gonna have to battle a PlayStation 2 Minotaur and Horus's girlfriend is gonna seduce a snake into killing itself. What? Yes, yeah, see, she can mind control those whose hearts don't belong to another. So this particular giant snake was not in love. Guess not, stupid snake. Okay, so they've killed the snake, Bachelor. Now what do they do? Well, they eventually get past the Sphinx's riddle, and so now they need to use the divine water to kill the desert. Why do they have to kill the desert? Oh, because it says they have to do that. It's written right here in streaky blue and white. Oh, my printer's running out of ink. Well, they should probably do it then. But then freaking Set shows up and rips out the god of wisdom's brain. Oh, very rude. Yeah, and then he crushes their little vial of divine water. Ah, oh, so that whole thing we've been doing for the last chunk of the movie was pointless. Yep, and then he leaves them to die. He doesn't stick around to make sure they actually do die? No, because the way I wrote him, I thought it might be cool if he was part god, part 1960s Bond villain. That works. So then they don't actually die. Plot twist. Yeah, and so then Set absorbs all the body parts he stole from other gods, and now he's extremely more, a lot more powerful so, with it for somehow. Uh, stolen body parts are tight. Oh, my god. I mean, I imagine. I don't have any in my filing cabinet. Oh, okay, sure, okay, yeah, sure, okay. Okay. So now Beck and Horus have to stop him or the whole flat Earth will be destroyed. Oh, the Earth is flat? You gotta inject a little bit of realism into this fantasy piece. What? So they're all fighting on top of this tall structure and Beck gets his hand on the second eyeball. Oh boy. Yeah, but then he throws it at Horus as he's falling. So now Horus has to choose between his second eyeball and saving his new friend Beck. Uh-oh, so what's he gonna do? He's gonna save Beck. Well, it's gonna be impossible to defeat Set if he can't turn into his bird form. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because he turns out his true destiny is to help people, and he never needed the eye. The power was inside him all along. Well, oh, are you okay? I don't know what that was. All right, so anyway, then they defeat the bad guy, but Beck dies because he had a hidden injury right here on his side. Oh, yeah, those are always eventually deadly. But Oris makes a deal with his granddad to bring all the people he liked back to life, so it's all good now. Sick. And so now he's the king of Egypt, and the flat earth is safe again. So what do you think? Sounds like an idea that'll absolutely become a franchise for sure. I'm gonna throw a hundred and forty million dollars at it. Nice, and you think critics will like it? Hey, even if they don't like it, that's just their opinion, you know? Nobody on our team's gonna get mad about that. Hey everybody, Ryan Jordan here. I hope thank you for watching that pitch meeting. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like the, the other videos and we have other videos on the channel too. So don't, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you, bye. I think I nailed that.